Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. Today's tutorial is a subscriber recommendation on vision boards. You might be starting to think about your goals for 2022. A vision board is a visual representation of those goals. Canva's templates can help you create the perfect vision board for a new year. Let's get started. To start off with, I typed in vision board here at the top. There are currently 102 templates that are there for you. However, only 31 of them are for free users, but this one actually looks pretty good. And if I click on this one, you can see that you could put in all sorts of things, either words or pictures for what's your vision for 2022, for your physical health, or mental, spiritual, financial, what are your goals? You could duplicate this 12 times and do one for each month and things you want to try. So that would be really fun. You could even look over here in the templates. You could even do a mood tracker here. If you're wanting to track your emotional health, daily activity. There's just a whole bunch of things. Weekly checklist. You might even need a daily planner to help you keep on track with your vision board. Vision board will give you one set of templates, but if you type in mood board, you can get over 1200 templates that might be more aesthetically pleasing to you. And I thought what I would do is create a goal for the Canva classroom. One thing you might want to do is change the font. I, Brittany is really hard for me to read. I'm just going to change it to Anton. But instead of that, you could also type in what you want to do. Live healthier and happier through 2022 improving my YouTube channel. What if you're a YouTube content creator and want to do that? Help others in some small way. And then you can pop in pictures that symbolize those things. Let's say that exercising and eating right, maybe it's more exercising Maybe you want to improve your YouTube channel. Maybe you want to spend more time with friends and family. Pop in things. Maybe you want to add little graphics here. You can just add tiny graphics, right? So you can just add little things to make it yours. What are the things that I have on my vision board? The primary goal that I have for 2022 is to be able to reach more to teach more. Let's check out the YouTube channel. I cannot believe that I am only 78 subscribers away from reaching the 500 subscriber milestone. But what is missing here is something called community. Here it is. It's in between playlists and channels. And basically it allows me to share an image, a poll, a video link to the community tab, even celebrations so that it spreads awareness about the channel and about Canva. I think it would be very beneficial. I'll be able to share some behind the scenes things. I'll be able to share specific elements. And sometimes when I see something fun and I just want to share it real quick, I'll be able to create a quick graphic to be able to share some things. And I'm really thinking that that will happen in January, 2022. What else? I am not great on social media. I run out of time to do everything that I need. However, over the last month, I've gotten really quick at putting together, or I've gotten quicker at putting together Canva tutorials. 
and I think I can use that extra time to put together some things for the Instagram page as well as some of the other social media sites. The Canva Classroom.weebly.com. It's my goal to be able to put up one new post per week in the feature section and one post per month in the Canva Classroom Challenge. I'm hoping to get it started in January. I want to create three tutorials per week, just like I've been doing over the last couple months. We've already talked about the 500 number. The very large goal that I'm stretching for is to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours so that the Canva Classroom could earn money. So this is like in my wildest imagination, I would reach that number in 2022. I'm not going to be disappointed if I don't reach that number in 2022. I broke it down further for January. In January, I'd like to create 13 videos and two shorts. That means a total of 15 videos in January. Of course, we've already talked about the 500 subscribers tab. I'm hoping that that will happen in January. More consistent in Instagram. And for the website, one new post per week. And I've got an idea that I would like to do a channel review at least once a month, which means that I go to one of my subscribers' YouTube channels and looks at either their header to give them ideas about their header, or their YouTube thumbnails to give them ideas about that, that there might be something that I can help them with, with a new tutorial. I am really, really excited about this vision board and I'm looking forward for you telling me what you are putting on your vision board. Let me know by commenting below and I will see you in the new year. Actually, there's a couple more tutorials coming out this year in 2021, but I'm looking forward to 2022. Who's with me? See you next time. Bye.